Imagine if you're an innocent person who's sentenced to years in prison. Do you believe law enforcement should be held accountable for abuse of power? Hi, I'm Mark Fagan, and I'm a terrorist. I mean, check out this terrorist. He lives in a trailer park, he owns guns, and we all know only terrorists and white supremacists live in trailer parks. That's what the state of California, Senator Kamala Harris, the Islamic Center of Southern California, the Council of American Islamic Relations, and the Los Angeles Police Department would like you to believe. Of course, that's not why I was arrested. I was arrested for being a conservative blogger and a Trump supporter. On October 19, 2016, I was arrested by the Los Angeles Police Department and charged by Senator Kamala Harris with annoying phone calls and hate crimes against the Islamic Center of Southern California without a shred of evidence to back it up. Even though the alleged hate call to the Islamic Center happened on September 20th, 2016, I wasn't arrested for over a month. Here's why. I wasn't arrested for a month because the LAPD was trying to push the story as close as possible to the presidential election of 2016. After the election, my candidate won, but I lost. My life, my reputation, my livelihood were completely destroyed. The good news is I was able to scrape together the money to come up with bail, hire a good attorney, and hire a smart private investigator. When my attorney received the discovery for this case, it had everything, except the phone records to the Islamic Center. Where were they? Well, my private investigator finally got his hands on them, and within one week, he was able to determine that not only did I have nothing to do with the hate crime call, I had nothing to do with the annoying phone calls. Here is the second annoying phone call. The Muslim will ask you to leave the U.S. or dump your stupid religion. you It was made by the Sun of a Los Angeles Superior Court judge. Were the police and Attorney General Kamala Harris protecting the son of a Superior Court judge? I don't know. This first phone call. I hate you guys. Nothing, nothing. Religion of peace? Religion of what? Peace? Oh, That's why you just went and killed 130 people? You dirtbags, I can't wait. Clearly sounds nothing like me. But that doesn't really matter because the police needed somebody to charge, so they got me. Me, Mr. Average American who lives in a trailer park, who has an average job, who's never been accused of any crime in his life. I became a political tool. Without evidence, the LAPD and Senator Kamala Harris resorted to the old-fashioned method of criminal justice. Coerced confessions and falsified police reports. The LAPD may retaliate against me for making this video by planting drugs or guns in my home or car. But that's a risk I have to take because this isn't just about me. This is about all of us. Black, white, Republican, Democrat. We are all at risk. The people who misuse their power and wield justice must be held accountable. And we have to fight back against a system that has been completely hijacked by corrupt leaders.